we've also seen the impact of money in politics. And I think even President Trump said it the best during the first Republican yeah. debate, where I give these people money and they do what I what say. I say. And, and, and of course, we also have to re rewind back the clocks a little bit further when he was a Democrat and Clinton was running a senator. He obviously gave her campaign money. So when he gave her money, she probably did what he said too. So what will it really take to effectively get money out of politics? So I th I, I don't know. I'm, you know, so the Wolf Pack is trying to get a, a constitutional amendment to get money out of politics or corporate money out of politics. Mm -hmm. You know, I, th I think what we need is for someone to make the case, right, so people could get behind it and to show people that uh, public financing of elections actually saves us billions, if not trillions of dollars. Mm -hmm. So and they're like, who's going to pay for public financing of elections? No, no, it, that's a cost-saving me measure. We're actually going to spend less money, just like single payer. How are you going to pay for a less expensive health care plan? Uh, well, we're going to pay less. Mm -hmm. So that's the same thing uh, 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 with public financed elections. We would actually save ourselves a lot of money, and that's where we and we need someone to articulate that to people. And it, but if someone, a politician, did say that, you know, every neoliberal on MSNBC would poo-poo that idea. Same thing at CNN, the New York Times, the Washington Post, and they would all say how oh, that's a bad idea. So uh, I, I think we need leadership, um, and I think we need to try everything.